Hey, what do we got? Pretty straightforward murder. A guy runs along the road and gets stabbed and dies. Are there any witnesses? No witnesses. No signs of disturbance from the neighbors. Do we have a positive ID on the victim? No positive ID. Neighbors couldn't identify him. What? Another one? I'm on my way. Callahan, you see the way he was murdered? Matches the other victim. Think they're related? Well, you ever dealt with a serial killer before? Not in a small town like this, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Game. That sounds like a skill issue. We should do something else. Have you guys heard of the new murder mystery podcast? No. Their podcasts are the best, though. Uh, my favorite was when they uh, covered the mass chainsaw killer in season five. Season 10 came out and it's actually in our town. Wait, no way? Yeah. That's so cool. Hello, I'm Tim Thomas and welcome back to Murder Mystery. Last night in the little town of Festerfield, there was an undetected murder on the streets. But that's not all. There was a similar murder on the opposite side of town on the same night. I believe I know who the killer is, so stay tuned until the end to find out. The only two victims are Dwayne Bright and Willie Hunt. The only evidence of the kill was a lack of blood and a mark on their back that looks like teeth marks. Boom! I figured it out again! There is a vampire in the town of Festerfield. Now, for those of you who are new around here, a vampire is a creature that kills its victims by sucking the blood from their necks. Now, as far-fetched as that may sound, all of the facts are right in front of our faces. The murder happened at night. There were two murders with the same bite marks. Do you guys really think there could be a vampire in the town? No way. Vampires aren't real. Besides, even if they were real, we all saw the body. The hole was too big for a vampire to make. But like, what, what if the vampire evolved to, you know, like, make bigger holes and like suck out blood faster? What a bunch of baloney. Well, no, vampires aren't real. It was a murder. You know, I saw two, like, two People walking around the uh, crime scene of the crime in suits, they look real business-like and stuff. Yeah, they called in real detectives for this one. They work at the police station, but are rarely called into work. The situation has to be serious. Do you guys think the murderer is going to strike again? Nah, the detectives will get them when they have a chance. I hope so. It only happened a couple of blocks from me. Well, there's no use in worrying. It's too late to debate this. I'm going to hit the hay. Yeah, let's just turn off the TV and go to sleep. Yeah. Good morning, Festerfield, and welcome to your daily news program. Today we have some disturbing developments on yesterday's murders. After further examination, this case has been ruled a double homicide. The police are working frivolously to uncover the murderer. Until the murderer is caught, the police are enforcing a curfew of 10 p.m. In other news, the Queen is still dead. Yes, despite all the constant theories, the Queen has not yet been murdered. Are you the new guy? Uh, yes, sir. It's a hell of a time to join. What do you mean? Go see Captain Fletcher. He's in his office. You better be joking. You guys better find him soon. Yes, sir. Good luck. Good luck. Are you the new recruit? Uh, yes, sir. Important for you. Good. You're going to be working with the detectives. Uh, sir, I was told I'd be working with another officer. Are you the new captain around here now? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. I'll gladly work with that detective. Good, now get out of my office. I guess I'll be working with you guys then. You got a wife? Uh, no, sir, why do you ask? It's gonna be a long night. Good, because you understand this uh, case must be solved up by urgency, right? Yes, sir, I do understand. You know, with this whole re-election thing, I don't want to assign a new chief to this town. I have my best people working on this case, sir. I need you to do better. Yes, sir. Oh, would you look at that? It's past five. Enough about business. Do you remember when we were both rookies? Yeah, we were young and stupid. <laughs> I never had to do a thing like this. No, the town was a lot smaller, and it was hard to commit a crime when everybody knew everybody. You remember our last homicide? How could I forget? People in town were ready to kill us both. 
Yeah, that was a hard case to work on. Nobody would suspect he was the mayor. We suspected it, but the people wouldn't listen to us. I'm glad that we caught him before he killed his wife. That was a dark curve. I know, Prime Minister. How are your kids? Well, Jamie's about to graduate high school, and Austin couldn't get out of town fast enough. He always made me hate this place. Everywhere he turned was another memory of his mother. Yeah, it's been hard for all of us since she passed. He was only eight whenever it happened. Did you ever tell him what really happened to her? You know I can't do that. Do you know how you'd react if I told him? He would be he would hate her as much as he hates me. He can never know that his mother tried to kill his sister. She went crazy. I'm sure you'd understand. The part about me trying to kill his mother or his mother trying to kill our family. Yeah, maybe you're right. It was a long time ago anyways. Hey Brooke, we're getting ready to leave. Make sure you lock the door. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Dude, she has a serious attitude problem. I say never get married or have kids. They might end up like your sister. Or worse, I could have a kid like you, Rufus. <sighs> Shut up. Let's just leave. Rufus, is that you? Rufus? I must just be hearing things. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? Please help me. Um. What's your address, ma'am? No, I'm, I'm at the park. I, he's trying to he's trying to kill me. I think. I'm sending officers there now. Can you give me a description of him? No, please please hurry. I I I can tell he's getting close. Ma'am, where are you in the park? I've been, I'm on the gazebo on the hill. I've been hiding here, but I I can tell I can hear him. He's getting close. Really, please help. Just stay there. Officers will be there in about two minutes. Okay, I think I can hide that long. Oh God, oh God, he found me. Please help me, please. Ma'am, are you okay? Good evening, Festerfield. I'm Clyde Curry and with breaking news. Earlier tonight, the police responded to an urgent phone call asking for help. By the time the police arrived at the scene, she was found dead. The police suspect it was the same killer that committed the other two murders. The police are asking all citizens to stay indoors and avoid going out at night. The police are enacting a curfew of 9 o'clock, changing it previously from 10 o'clock. Now to Kelsey Rose, who is live at the scene of the crime. Thank you, Clyde. I'm here live at the scene of the crime, where currently police are out with canines searching for ever, any evidence of the killer. The police are completely lost on who might have done this. They're, they currently have a $500 reward on the table for anyone who knows any information about the killer. There have been reports of another murder. If this is true, that means there is a serial killer in Festerfield. Thank you, Clyde. Back to you. Another victim was found. Do you guys have any idea who it could be? Well, sir, no, we don't. This guy is extremely thorough in his cleanup. And what's your issue, detective? Nothing, sir. I'm just a little tired is all. Aren't we all? Listen, I'm going to be with you guys personally on this case from now on. Well, sir, with all due respect, I think we can handle this case. There will be no arguments about this. The last time there was a murder in this town, I was still some low-level cop. This case needs to be solved as quickly as possible. 
Hello? What? Yes, I'm on my way. Who was that? That was one of the cops from the second crime scene. The girl that they found was only nine years old, and uh, her brother found her in the closet. Um, that makes it two murders in one night, and we officially have a serial killer on the loose. I want every unit on high alert. We have a serial killer in our town, and I want him found now. Many of you know me as the mayor of your town. I have gratefully accepted that responsibility for the last eight years. I led us through some good and bad times. Well, we've reached the bad times again. A man in our town has decided that the lives of our neighbors, our children, and our friends don't matter. Those of you who have lived in this town for a long time know this has happened before. They should know that through diligent police work, we found and captured the last murderer. That is how we will catch this killer too, but it can't just be up to the police anymore. If those of you in our town see or hear anything, please report it. Even if it turns out to be a raccoon in a bush, no level of caution is too much. Our small town was once safe, but now we are under attack by a cruel mind. If that person is out there and listening, I speak directly to you. I don't know what happened in your childhood to make you this way, but we will find you. No matter where you go, we will find you. No hole, no house. There will be no crevice you can hide. The people in this town are stronger than you know. We have survived every hardship imaginable, and we will survive this one. The people in my town are resilient. You may try to break our spirit, but it is unbroken. You can attack us, but we will always come back stronger. When we catch you, the town will be for your judgment, and they will ask for death. There is nowhere in this town where you can hide. We will search this town to left and right to find you. Just know, I will not sleep until we are found, for the wicked do not rest, and neither will I. Hello, I'm Tim Thomas, and this is Murder Mystery. For those of you who listened to my last podcast, you understand the situation down in Festerfield. Well, there are some important updates to the case now. A week after the murders occurred, two more victims were killed. And not only that, were that they were killed on the same night. I know what you're thinking. There must be a vampire in the town of Festerfield. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's much deeper than that. This town has become the breeding ground for vampires, and they plan to take it over. That has to be what's happening. We need to make we need to make fellow vampire hunters aware of this. I swear to you, I will go down and kill this vampire if I have to. You see, these two victims were killed in a way as gruesome as the last. Their necks were snapped. Now, I know what you may be thinking. But Tim, how come the vampires don't suck their blood? Because the vampires have started killing for sport. Don't, don't you see the small town is so clueless that vampires are having fun with their victims? I am personally going down to Festerfield to stop these attacks from occurring. I will do everything in my power to kill these, to kill these creatures. My name will be sung in the history books as the greatest vampire slayer of all time. Thank you for listening. I'm Tim Thomas, signing out. I can't believe Tim Thomas is actually coming to our town. Hey, have you talked to Roof lately? I haven't seen him since last night. It's only been two days. We need some time away. Yeah, I guess so. We should probably take him out tonight. Are you sure? That doesn't sound like such a good idea. We were the ones who convinced him to get out of this house in the first place. Well, how would the killer even get in there? We might never know. But he's convinced that if you were home, it never would have happened. Let's just see what he's up to. He might, ne he might need this here right now. It wouldn't hurt. All right, push me to his house tonight. What do you say? Six o'clock? Don't forget about the curfew. Relax. When did we worry about curfews? Whatever, man. I'm listening to it. All right, see you tonight. Well, it seems we've talked to just about every person in this town, and nobody really need, seems to know who the killer is. Some think he's a ghost. Who knows? Maybe he is. I guess we haven't asked everyone. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to ask some questions. Oh, everybody always just wants directions. Nobody ever seems to ask what I want. Sir, we just have some questions about the murders that have taken place. Well, get on with it. About how long have you lived in this town? About, uh, 53 years, give or take. Do you know who would be willing to murder in this town? Oh, everybody's capable of murder in this town. We proved that a long time ago. Why back, everyone wanted to kill the mayor. Are you capable of murder in this town? Is this an interrogation? No, sir. We just need to get all the facts. The only facts you care about are the ones that help you. Have you killed anyone? No questions. Please, sir, just answer the question. No questions. No questions. No more questions. Let's get back to the station. I want everything we have on Sean Hancock.
No way. It's actually Tim Thomas. I can't believe you brought me out here to watch some stupid guy hunt vampires. That's just any guy. He's a monster hunter and a podcaster. Monsters aren't real and there aren't any vampires in our town. Hey, do you think you live in this town? Yes, sir, we do. Have you seen any vampires running around? No, we haven't because they aren't real. Molly, shut up. No, it's okay. I respect my critics, even when they're wrong. And by the time I leave this town, I'll have a vampire in my grasp and I'll be the greatest monster hunter ever to exist. Whatever, it's cold. I'm leaving. It was awesome to meet you, Mr. Thomas. Yes, sir. Great to meet you. Always a pleasure to meet some fans. Well, back to work. Guys, are we sure we're going to be able to get him out here? Of course. We're his best friends. We know everything about him. I'm sure the offer of pizza and video games will get him out of the house. This better work. What do you guys want? We're here to take you away. We ordered pizza and we have games set up at my house. I appreciate the effort, but I'm going to pass. Rufus, just come with us. You can't stay locked up there forever. I just need some alone time. You've had your alone time. It's time to hang out with your friends. We're not leaving you to come with us. If I go with you guys, will you just leave me alone afterwards? No promises, but we'll take what we can get. Well, for God, we need to get moving or we'll be pass out curfew. Hey guys, pass our curfew. I want to get back before we get in trouble. Yeah, let's just let's just head down this uh, alley so we're just getting caught. Do you really think we're going to be going down here? It's pretty dark. What, are you scared of the dark? Don't be such a sissy. No, I'm not scared of the dark. It's just with this killer running around, should we really be walking around a dark alleyway? Well, it's too many, so it's far for him to get all of us. And besides, even with Tim Thomas in town, the vampire wouldn't dare to attack us. You're such a moron. There's no vampires. Well, don't be mad at me when it's sucking all your blood. What's that? Hey, who's here? <sighs> Sorry, didn't mean to spook you, kiddos. I'll be on my way out. Oh, there was just all the man's getting caught. For a second, I thought it was the vampire. Whatever, let's just get back to your house. Or another stuff? Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, oh god, I messed up. No! Oh no. No, 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 no! Hey, is everything alright from here? Yeah, can you, uh, here for me? Yeah, sure. I need to fix this. I have to find those kids. I let them get away. I have to find them. I need to find them. No! You can't get out. Not your turn. God, oh no. What have I done? No, not your turn. Go! What happened? What have we done? Molly, listen to me. It wasn't our fault. We have to stay calm. Stay calm? How can I stay calm? I just watched my boyfriend get murdered. We're going to die. He saw our faces. He's going to kill us. I called the police. They're on their way. It doesn't matter, he's gonna kill us. No, he's not. I looked outside and it didn't look like he followed us. Do you hear that? I, I think the police are close. No! Not yet! I'm not finished! I need to find them! Shut up! I'm still in control! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I must find them! Who is it? Wait a minute. I know who it is. Good Lord, how did I not see it before? It's been there right in front of my face the whole time. You won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have. Not yet you haven't. I can't leave until you're dead. What happened to you? It used to be good. People changed. I changed and killed the old part of me. Well, I'll have to bring that old part back. You can't. He's gone. I killed him. Where we once lived together, 
Only I remain. What do you mean? I mean he kept me locked away his whole life. I hate you people. Now you all will die. Oh, they'll catch you. Stop. No, they won't. Hi, I'm Tim Thomas, live from Fester Field, with the big update. If you listen closely, you can hear police sirens all around me. That is because the killer has struck again. Yes, I said killer, and that is because this is not, I've concluded that this is not the work of a vampire, but the work of a killer that has been running around. This may be the biggest serial killer of the century. They are issuing a stay in order, so everybody needs to stay inside. They are also blocking off entrances and exits to the town. Parallel killer has not yet been identified. May God help us all.